I wanted to tell you in person. Well, the answer is no. I'm not helping you. There could be a lot of money in it. There isn't enough money. You lied to me. Well, you said you were on my side, and you lied. I'm gonna tell the truth. After all these years, you can I will bring more napkin. Looks like two in the back of the head. I got powder residue and stippling, so close range. Throw in the 22 shell casings. Maybe we got a pro at work. No wallet. Broken strap from a shoulder bag. Hey. Check out my man's fingers. Whoa. Reminds me of this bare knuckle boxer I used to watch at Coney Island. I used to hammer nails up his nose, too. He was like my hero when I was 12, all right? Hey! You're the gentleman that found our victim? Yes. Eric Beardsley. I live around the corner. Okay. What happened, Mr. Beardsley? I'm crossing the street, so uh, Bruno, the Weimar runner, decides he wants to root around in the trash. That's when I hear two shots. I hit the ground. The dogs start barking. Oh, they like you. They like my dog. So did you see anything, Mr. Beardsley? Someone running through the park. Running from where? I don't know where they came from. They just ran back toward the street. Man, woman, tall, short. I was ducking and covering. All I could make out was this blur. If Bruno hadn't stopped, I would have been. Yeah, you'll be all right. I count 29 breaks in the fingers. Oldest is about six years. This one here is about a year old. Bernard. He also has scars up and down his back, roughly the same vintage. Guy was living the good life. Thanks. We got a hit on our John Doe's prints off an old DWI. Name, Alex Boone. Last known address dates back to 2002. Well, about the time he started getting his fingers broken. Then nothing. He just falls off the radar until two months ago. Uh, he uh, registered a loan out company. Business addresses on Houston. No notes. Computer cord, but no computer. Books in Chinese. Hey, he was hunkering down for the winter. Hoards food, regimented routine. Had a serious case of institutionalization. But no record he was ever in prison. Why? From the Sino-American Institute on 48th. He was here last night at the art opening. I see him argue with uh, other men. Uh, the other men threw a glass of wine in his face. What did this other man look like? Young, white, dark hair. He was a typical American. What was he wearing, Miss Kong? Jeans, gray sweatshirt. Uh, it's a uh, Concordia City right here. The opening last night, was it by invitation only? Yes, but we take walk-ins if they look OK. We'll take a list of the invitees. Thank you. <clears throat> Everybody looks happy. Well, that's why they call it propaganda. Books in Chinese, interest in Chinese revolution art, Boone's missing years. Maybe he spent them in China. A Concordia City College sweatshirt. That's not much to go on. Everyone on the invitation list is spoken for. He was a walk-in. Well, have you spoken to any of Mr. Boone's friends or colleagues? If we could find one. His address book was probably in his stolen bag. Plus, he doesn't have a phone in his name. Oh, we, we got a hit on the passport trace. Boone left the country December of 01 for China. He landed in Shanghai. He didn't come home till June of 08. Was he in China on a work visa? There's no record of it. Well, China's not the kind of place where a foreigner can hang out without papers. Boone's institutional behavior, his broken fingers. If he wasn't in an American prison. Maybe he was in a Chinese one. If so, he must have had a stateside attorney. Check with the international legal aid organizations. Alex Boone arrested March 02 in Guangzhou, southern China. State Department referred his case to us. What was he arrested for? Officially, espionage. Unofficially, he wrote a freelance web piece on people displaced by the Three Gorges Dam that Beijing didn't appreciate. It says here he was sentenced to life, but then released early. Just before the Beijing Olympics. A Chinese goodwill gesture. You hear from him since? A few times. 
poor guy wanted us to sue the Chinese government. Said he owed it to his wife for the time they lost. He was married. Last I heard, separated. You don't by chance have his wife's address, do you? She must have left sometime last night. I woke up to find a note under my door asking me to water the plants. Looks like she left in a hurry. Is that Mrs. Boone? Yeah. Yeah, it goes by the name of Lisa. Recognize anyone? Liu Kong, the lady at the museum. You must have slipped her mind the dead guy we were asking about was her estranged husband. Mm -hmm. You talked to her yesterday? Sure. You know, I think she got scared when I told her about the skip tracer. The skip tracer? What skip tracer? Well, yesterday afternoon, this guy keeps buzzing her apartment. What did he look like? Well, from four floors up, a balding white guy. Black jacket and tie, mustache. Hustles down a block, jumps into a black town car. I tell Mrs. Boone about him, she starts babbling in Chinese. I do nothing wrong. Lying to us? Running away to your cousin's house? That tells us that maybe you had something to do with your husband's murder. I did not kill Alex. And maybe you know who did. No, no one's gonna kill you. We can protect you. But you have to tell the truth, you understand? Who killed your husband? Chinese government. I waited for Alex. He stayed in prison for six years. Then we come here, we get married, try to build a new life. Something happened. Alex was a different man, always angry. He could not get a writing job. We decide it's better if he move out. He came to see you at the art show? I invite him. We try to be friends. But he argue with this man, I don't know why. Alex wanted to talk to me, so we make a plan to meet in the morning. The morning he got shot? Yes. I miss the subway, so I'm late. I see Alex on the ground. I see a man above him with a gun. He look up at me, and I run. I was scared he's going to hurt me. What did the man look like? He's white. A mustache. A black coat. A white man. But you believe the Chinese government killed Alex? He was writing a book about China. He always talk about revenge. And I tell him, it's no good. The Chinese government is very strong. They killed him. They will kill me too.